Ken Lee Dome was asking about, he asked, for longer-term macro trades, why not trade longer-term options? And I had sent you over an image before, if you can pull that up. Um, we can go over a quick quick little example. You got, let me know you got it pulled up. All right, picture on the screen. Do you want to handle right. this one? You're, you're, you're better theoretical yeah. and stuff. I'll go over really quick. So, again, he asked, you know, if we're looking at a lot of these slower, more macro type trades, why not buy longer term options? A few things. One, you know, we have we have an opinion that EA is going to be a bit of a slow grinder compared to say an LK. Again, that's our opinion. We're not always going to be right, just like we really didn't expect LK to go from 22 to 33 in a couple of days. So we don't really know a lot of times if it's going to be that slow of a grind, if it's going to take a year or two, or if not. In a general sense, we have an idea of how the stock trades. But in this, you know, in this example, we pull up an option chain and say you were looking a year out in EA. You know, it's going to cost you, if you were to buy this today, you're going to, you know, you're buying the ass. So it's going to cost you, say you buy one option, it's going to cost you like 1100 bucks. So you're now break even on this. You pretty much need to send to go to at least 120 to break even. And you have about a thousand dollars risk where, you know, if shakes in his name, say he's got a hundred shares, he has $10,000 in the name. But he has now break even stop. If he's wrong, he's not going to lose anything. And if it now goes to 120 and he has 100 shares, he's up $2,000. Where if you have the long term option, you're in it for at least a thousand bucks. If you're wrong, you're going to lose a thousand dollars more than likely. And if it goes up to 120, you're basically just break even at that point. And you have to really, really want to hold this name. Where for us, we we specialize. We focus on what we do. We don't try to you know do everything under the sun. Um, so for us, you know, I'm not going to buy that call and hold it for a year. I don't think Chick is going to be, and really none of our members in it anyways. We just want to hold the stock, want to limit our risk. We don't mind putting our money, you know, where our mouth is in these names. So for us, we're just not going to take those options. People can definitely make money doing it. It's just not something that we do or something that we specialize in. So there hopefully. So I, I get the question a lot um, because the, the way I trade is much more geared towards, you know, short term option trading because I'm much more micro, I trade the high betas, things like that. So I get the question all the time of, you know, why don't, why don't you trade options particularly? And the answer is like, personally, like I tried it in 2014, 2015, I, I did a mix of options and stock and it was just so difficult for me to time every trade. And when it got choppy, I just, in, in trades, things I would be right in, the option wouldn't be right. So it's mm -hmm. like, it just created this extra level layer of difficulty for me where I couldn't find success with it. So now I don't really have to time stocks as much, you know, I can sit in them. Um, and that, that was always my big qualm with option trading is that your timing has to be so precise, so mm -hmm. on point. And it's just like, it, it makes like trading's hard enough for me, yeah. you know? So it's like, I'm just going to, the, the easiest way I can find success, that's the way I'm going to do it. So you yeah. know, I stay away from that. That's my reasoning for staying away from the options. Yeah. No, I, I mean, I, with that, it's like, like you said, for the equity, we only need to be really right on our entry and the direction. Yeah. With an option, you need entry, direction, and time. And we've taken trade breakouts 10 times in a row, and it, it works the 11th time, where those, those first 10, we might have lost a very minuscule amount, and then you make it on the 11th one. If you had to take the same option trade 11 times, that's going to be a very costly trade. Just, you know, just the percentages you're winning and losing, it's just going to be too great. Yeah. So definitely agree hundred um, percent with that. And he had, can the, yeah, he asked a question about my 21st birthday years back. You can message me. I'm not going to talk about it on here. Uh, it's definitely not YouTube safe. Um,